Hello, everybody. I, I hope you're okay. Let's start to our um, good learning analysis. So it's not just analysis. So I'll explain to you learning as well, what we learned from the previous history. Uh, the purpose of the analysis is not just a simple anal analysis in a few minutes, but uh, I'll try to explain uh, why the market, how the market moved. So we try to explain the market's movement. So in this way, you will learn as well as uh, in the future from the history, we, you can learn and also the more focus, for, especially in Forex, the market repeats history. The patterns are same all the time, similar patterns and same patterns market makes. So we can learn from that and uh, we can make profits. So let's start going, uh, let's go, uh, get going. And uh, this is the screen and we had news today and uh, it's product factory. And you can see that, uh, that uh, we had uh, core PPI negative and the market moved accordingly. Uh, PPI M, M was uh, negative as well. And the market moved accordingly. Gold was bullish already, and this made it more bullish. We'll look in the chart in uh, shortly. And before I go on the chart, let's see what's happening on Mondays. I'll just uh, Monday with USD. We have bank holiday. Uh, sorry, no bank. I'm looking wrong. Monday it will be Monday. The yeah, seventh to fifteenth. Yes, it's, I'm looking the correct Monday, not wrong Monday. So it's bank holiday, uh, and uh, we do not have any particular news. However, the market will open for the rest of the world, obviously. And Tuesday, we have one heavy impact news for US dollar. Normally, we try trade uh, uh, gold, so we only concerned about the dollar pair. So we can filter it here, and we know that your time is a uh, UK time. You can always change that as well. We already got UK time here. You can filter the news here as well. And uh, only include heavy impact and low impact, uh, medium impact news, so apply filter. So this is the USD on Monday. We have one heavy impact, 130 p.m. Uh, so I tell you that's Tuesday and uh, Wednesday we have uh, have impact on uh, one thirty p.m. as well. And Thursday we have uh, one thirty p.m. have impact on low impact. Going back to Friday nineteenth, uh, we we have three p.m. have impact as well as low impact. So that's what for the new, as far as the news is concerned. So Monday's bank holiday, we still see some movement in the gold, but Tuesday is uh, the Monday 16th, where we have uh, news as well as market is open for US dollar uh, as well. All right. This is as far as the gold, uh, uh, for factories concerned, going back to uh, Dick, going to Dixie on the chart, Dixie is ranging at the moment. As you can see, this is one hour, uh, this is four hour chart. And uh, as far as today's move is concerned, as you can see the Dixie went down, gold went up as well. We've seen a chart in, on the chart as well. Let's go. This is a uh, gold chart. And let's see what's happening in gold. We already know the gold is bullish in daily. Has been moving from these, as you can see, this trend line. If I put this proper trend line here, you will see more clear. So with this move was expected because fundamental, uh, the war situation, it helped as well. So hence we see this, 
we have seen a sharp movement here. Uh, and not only that, we have this level as well. So the market move from according to technical analysis. But daily is uh, bullish. Uh, let's see what's happening. D uh, definitely the weekly is bullish as well. And going on to four hour. Four hour the same level, which was on daily. This level was broken and we've seen a sharp move to the upside. Here, momentum was slowed down. Why? Because it was a level. And once this is broken, and uh, we've seen change of character, we've seen a sharp movement to the upside. All right. Now, what next? This is a level, historical level. and. Let's see how much move is in one day. In one day, there was a movement of 20, 28, 20, nearly 300 pips movement. So in one hour, we can see, now it is a rejection from the level. Market rejected slightly before this week of the previous uh, on 60, 2062, which is fine. Sometimes market, market does that, rejects from near the level, not exactly from the level. So that's fine. The possible levels are these. This is another auto block here. Or this support level, this small one. And now Marty can reject from here and now. Further, we have this area as well. We come to the upside and going to the downside, we, we are different levels and so on. We, you can put all this, some levels here according to market structure. But always uh, make sure you confirm with, uh, uh, confirm it with the, when you take a trade, have confirmation. So I sometimes use uh, RSI as well. Uh, always use market structure to, uh, and then you can confirm it more with RSI or candlestick pattern if you want to make sure or you want to increase the probability. Here we've seen divergence here. This was a very good trade. So we got had divergence on the level. Market was on the level as well. And second, we have this candlestick pattern, rail pattern. Third, market stuck, this is market structure level. And daily level as well, daily market structure level. Four, fundamentals were supporting the technical. And we've seen such a sharp movement. So once all the probabilities are combined, we see a sharp movement. Look here in one hour. This was the pattern in one hour. 15 minutes, we have bullish pattern. Look. If you missed here, we could have enter here, 15 minutes. That's it, uh, take profit here. Or even here, next, take profit. 
you can take it further to the upside. Here. Your next entry could be here, considering the momentum of the market. I mean, and you can always uh, go change the time frame to uh, to find fine tune your uh, entries and fine tune your analysis. So currently, let's see what structure we have in uh, one hour. This would equal. Uh, In fact, this should not should be here. Is this a structure level? So market, as I shown uh, earlier on, market should come around here. No, these are the just uh, estimated levels. When market comes on these levels, you look at the price action, then you take trade, uh, your entries. So currently market was uh, in bullish scenario. And uh, as you can see, sorry, I'm looking at my trades as well. I have some running trades, right? So this was, uh, as you can see, this was a break of structure. And the market, my double top hair, equal highs. Then market broke this structure. Went to the upside, this couldn't break this, this structure here, it was broken. Now, this was a level. We, this was broken, we had, in fact, this was a level that, and you can see that this was broken. So internally market made several moves. But once this big candle is made, clearly it's broken level. We had a church. And we are expecting judgment can, can change the correctly in case you don't know. So market is coming down now. So what next? Next, so just follow the levels, which I explained earlier on, and you're good to go. I hope this is helpful, guys, and uh, you have a good uh, trading day next week, and have, have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.